The, the thought process is there is no retirement in real estate. You, you cannot be fired from something you are choosing to do. And what happens is, and the, the point that Sherry is making, the point that Todd makes, Julie, is that we choose to have and develop personality traits that make us better employees on jobs that we do have. The ability to have a job and not need that job is an unbelievably freeing thought process. The ability to make a decision to invest in real estate improves your ability to make a decision in your personal life. It makes the ability to have a commitment that you're going to say, I'm going to do these things in this time frame is what improves your personal life. It is what improves your work life. The ability to understand risk is a personal trait that transfers directly, directly to your relationship with your children and your spouse, your church, any charity you want to be involved in, to help quantify what our intrinsic values as real estate investors make people who invest in real estate the kind of people that drive communities forward. In the 30s, I'm on a soapbox here about this particular topic, but in the 20s, the 30s, and all the times back to 1820, to buy a house, you had to demonstrate the ability to save 20% minimum down payment. It had to be something that the family organized to do together because it was a large financial commitment. You had to plan to buy a house. You had to be organized to plan for it because the thought process was that you were going to be saving your money, it's going to take us this long to save the money, and then we're going to buy a lot, and then we're going to build a house. To go borrow the money from the bank to build a house, the bank needed to know that you had a job that was going to pay, so you had to show the ability to perform at work with some job that was going to continue into the future, and you had to give and demonstrate some ability to do that to the bank. And the bank would loan you 80% of the money, charge you somewhere between 6 and 8% interest on an annual basis, and the next year you go in and you pay another 20% down. So that was the way all housing worked, and the people who were able to plan, save, have commitment, and assume the risk that they're going to be able to do it, demonstrate qualities that have helped build this country. Somehow, those qualities got morphed into being a homeowner. So by the mere fact of being a homeowner, you therefore then possess these qualities. And I don't know when that actually happened. Maybe it was in the 50s, maybe it was in the, the 60s when they really began reforming how people could buy houses and how financing was done because of the economic engine that's created by housing. But the qualities that make great investors is the same quality that made this country great. And I, I know that sounds corny when I say it, but if you just step back from it for a second, those are the core intrinsic values that drive an economy forward. The ability to learn, to take what you already know how to do, learn how to add to it. Just like if you're cooking, you learn how to do it different. You learn how to add a new ingredient. You try things and it fails, and you learn how to not do that again, but do something different that becomes better for it in the future. So when all is going wrong all around the country, and we are still thinking through the process about uh, the politics, about what's going on, what I want people to always remember is the thought process that Real estate is a basic value that moves the country. It is the basic thought process that makes things happen for you as an individual, your family, your immediate community, and the things that you choose to do. So when things are bad, 
be proud of the opportunities that we have as real estate investors.